In the last couple of videos, we've been looking at places of articulation. A place of articulation is somewhere in your mouth where there's contact between two articulators. For example, your tongue and your teeth when you're saying f, or the tip of your tongue and the alveolar bridge when you're saying s or t in telephone. All these are places of articulation, which is where some articulators are interacting. In this video, we're going to start studying manners of articulation. A manner of articulation is a description of how the air exits your mouth. Sometimes it's, it exits without any blockage, as it does with the vowels. Ah. Uh, sometimes the air has partial blockages, as in s or f, where your tongue is kind of in the way and is creating some turbulence. And sometimes we have absolute complete blockages as in uh, the T in telephone or toddler where the air stops completely and then it's released in a small explosion. These are manners of articulation and they are the rows of our table. We have as columns the places of articulation by labial, labiodental, velar, uvular and so forth. And then the manners of articulation are the ways in which the air rushes out of your lungs and through your mouth. For example, with a little explosion or a stop, uh, with friction, and so forth. Let's go through each of these. So English has stops, which are also called plosives because they have a little explosion. In stops, the, the flow of air is stopped completely by your articulators. For example, if you're going to say the word pet, when you close your lips to say the P, the air is stopped and then it accumulates a little bit. So that when you finally release your lips, it comes out under pressure and then with a little explosion, as in pet, pet. For example, in Todd, the, you would also get a stoppage of air. Todd. Uh, this happens with all of the places of articulation. Ka, 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 and so forth. English has bilabial stops, such as P and B, alveolar stops, such as T and D, and velar stops, ka, ka. And again, when we describe consonants, we're going to need to give them three descriptions, two of which are the place, of articulation and the manner of articulation. A bilabial stop, an alveolar stop. So uh, let's try some more transcription. These are words in English, dab and bag. I gave you the IPA vowel here because we haven't studied them yet. And I wanted to try to fill in the blanks with the IPA symbol that would go in here. So I want you to try to give me the IPA transcriptions for the English words dab and bag. Give it a shot. Please pause the video. These are easy because the IPA symbol is exactly the same as the orthographic symbol in English. These are dab and bag. This one is an alveolar stop. This one is a bilabial stop. This one is a bilabial stop, and this is a velar stop. Dab, bag. These are the IPA transcriptions for these words. So we have stops. Our next manner of articulation is fricatives. Fricatives, as you might suppose, involve friction. Your tongue is positioned in a certain way in which the air can rush out partially. And as it rushes out, it encounters the obstacle of your tongue and then turbulence is created. This turbulence leaves your mouth in the form of noise, basically. A noise that you can hear in labiodental fricatives like f dental fricatives, f v alveolar fricatives such as s, s and post alveolar fricatives like sh. So again, the air is rushing out partially and with the obstacle of your tongue. So that creates turbulence. That's friction, which you see in fricatives. 
And as you can see, there's a ton of fricatives, many more fricatives than there are plosives. And by the way, these graves parts are parts that are believed to be impossible to pronounce by humans. The ones parts that are not gray but empty are parts of the IPA where no one has ever found that sound in a human language. And for everything else, there appears to be a sound, and there's fricatives in every place of articulation. In English, we have labiodentals, dentals, alveolars, and postalveolars. This one, fa, fa, by labial fricative, fa, is used in Japanese, for example. So give it a try. These are words in English, fad, fad, sad, them, and shed. And in these blanks, you need to uh, fill in some consonants. Some of them are going to be stops, some fricatives, and some of them nasals the, from this row right here. Try to provide the transcription for these words. And again, each of the transcriptions should have only three symbols in them. Please pause the video. These are the transcriptions for those words. Fad has a labial dental first and then an alveolar, an alveolar stop. Fad has this dental fricative, fad, and then an alveolar stop. Sad has an alveolar fricative. Them has an alveolar fricative, the, the, them, which is different from th, the, and a nasal, them. And shed has the esh, postalveolar esh, shed, right here. So those are the fricatives. There's a special manner of articulation, which is the affricate. Um, affricate consonants involve two articulations at the same time. So affricates are stops and fricatives produced at the same moment. English has two of these, where a T and an H are produced at the same time to, produ to produce the sound CH, as in CHAD, CHAD. The English also has the D, and the edge produced at the same time, which comes out as j, jam, jam. So this is the one that we read with the ch, chad, and this is jam. And again, this is a stop and a fricative produced at the same time. Cha, ja. Afterwards. Nasal consonants are a lot of fun. You have a part of your mouth called the velum which can be closed or open. If it's closed, all of the air rushes in all the air rushes into your mouth and exits through your mouth. If it's open, some of the air rushes into your nasal cavity and then exits through your nose. For example, if you pronounce none, none. Please put your hands in front of your mouth uh, and of your face and pronounce something like no, none mom and you can feel that some of the air is rushing out from your nose those are nasal articulations as you can see there's bilabial nasals for example in english alveolar nasals uh, velar nasals this is the one in sing sing for example spanish has a palatal nasal ña in ñ so now you know a vowel. This one is the S, the A, and the E. Please try to give us the IPA transcription for these three words in English. Cam, can, and Dan. Please pause the video. An alveolar stop and a nasal, and a bilabial nasal, cam. An alveolar nasal, can. You can feel your tongue touching the alveolar ridge, can, and, and, and a velar nasal, dang, dang. All right, so consonants need to be described using several dimensions. First, the place of articulation, bilabial, alveolar, and so forth, and also the manner of articulation, the way in which the air rushes out, which can be stop, fricative, and so forth. For example, an alveolar fricative is like an S because it has alveolar place and fricative manner. In the next video, we'll look at even more manners of articulation.